Hello everyone, we are Team Aurum and we are defending the honor of the Robotics Center of the Presidential Lyceum of Physics and Mathematics number 239 at the Junior Soccer Lightweight League of the RoboCup competition. I am the leader of the team and now I will introduce its members. starting point of absolutely any project. That's right, it's an idea. At the beginning of work on our project, we have based on both the experience of previous years and the work of other teams, because the main idea of RoboCup is to share knowledge, ideas and experience. We have developed many concepts. Now you can see them on the screen, and we have chosen a bit of them for our situation. And now we will tell you about the implementation. Hello, my name is Bogdan Bakanov and I'm a designer and mechanic of Team Iron. Now I will tell you about the process of creating our robot. First of all, we develop the 3D model of the robot, because this is the only way to achieve acceptable quality and high accuracy of manufacturing parts and components of the robot. In the manufacturing process, we use such technologies as 3D printing, CNC milling, turning, as well as many other machines and tools. So the main bearing part of our robot is made of fiberglass by milling on a CNC machine. The main pairs are connected using 3D parts, the pairs created on a LED. Also, a special place occupied by the process of manufacturing a cam mirror, which is necessary for positioning like a robot in the camera. We are made it on a LED with our own hands from an aluminium base. First, they were shaped, then ground and polished until they got an acceptable quality. Now you can watch on their screens the process of accelerated assembly of the robot from ready-made parts and spare parts. Our team developed three printed circuit boards for the robot, namely the sensor board, which has 32 line sensors, the boost voltage module board, which controls the dribbler, and the mother board, which is the heart of the robot. Each board is an independent universal device because it has its own STM32 microcontroller. This solution made it possible to reduce the logical load on the main microcontroller of the robot and to increase its performance. Also to reduce the probability of a failure in the electronic part of the robot, it was decided to use time-tested electronic circuits or conduct a through check of an idea on a training layout before implementing it. All these actions made it possible to increase in efficiency and reduce the time for debugging the robot. It should be noted that the solder link of electronic components was carried out strictly under an electron microscope and complaints with international solder link standards uh, APS.
My name is Victor Barris, and I'm the programmer of the team R. In our robot, we use three types of microcontroller, S1032, the F4, F1, and F0 series. We use KLU Vision 5 to program them in C++. Firstly, we will show you one of the first tests of our robot. It is the test of holding a given angle. For the task, we use Spark 1, Nandov, Emu, Razer M0 that can be programmed in Arduino AD. We use it with own C-type language. Secondly, we will show you the video of the test of the attack. We use sensor called Airlocator 360 to follow the ball. Thirdly, we will show you the video of testing line detection. In this video, we tried to use H7 series of an UV camera to detect the line. We want to combine this method with light sensors that we currently use to detect line. To program the OpenV cam, we use OpenV ID and MicroPython. And finally, we will show you the test of goalkeeper call. A big thanks to Team Semicolon for helping us with the test. If you want to check our code for OpenV cam, scan this QR code. It has the link to GitHub repository that contains our code. The only thing left to add is that we have achieved our goals. We became a close-knit team in which everyone worked to the maximum. We all gained invaluable experience, acquired new knowledge and increased our qualifications. Of course, there is no limit to perfection, so in the future we will implement more and more innovative solutions and the most daring ideas and strive for the highest results. Thank you for being with us. See you soon.